Well, hello, friends. Coach Bob with you today, and today we are going to be talking about a Zumo XT being installed on a 2022 Triumph Tiger 900 Rally Pro. That is a mouthful. Ooh. So if it looks like the sun is bright and blinding, that's because the sun is bright and blinding. But I don't care. It's all right. We'll be just fine. You know, there are a lot of videos on the internet that talk about the installation of a Zumo and, and different things, and they don't give you any information. They basically go, yeah, I hooked it up somewhere down there and I was able to get to this little wire by lifting this and turning that, and they don't show you anything. And then you get frustrated. You go to do it, and it's just a mess. You go to take something off and there's 15 more bolts under it. So I came up with a simple solution. But before we get going with all that, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and all that because I always got some cool stuff going on around here. The Zumo XT, the install is done. It works perfectly. It's wonderful. It powers up when I crank it up. It powers off when I turn the motorcycle off. That is accomplished via the Heeltech Thunderbox. Uh, I will drop a link to the video somewhere up top and there will be a link down below. If you're unfamiliar with that, that is your electronic solution on your Triumph Tiger. It's also the electronic solution on your Can-Am Spider or any other 12 volt motorcycle system. That is your solution, the Hilltech Thunderbox. Really a great thing. So enough about that. If you haven't seen the video and you're not sure how to install that, then go check the video out. You will see in this video the mount that I use, the way I run the wires, where I run the wires, how I hook the wires up, and everything in between because you deserve to know so that when you go to do this to your motorcycle, whether it's on a Triumph, a Can-Am, a Suzuki, a Honda, a BMW, whatever it is, you have a solution, a simple solution. All right, so let's get to work on installing this GPS. All right, so our job today is to get power from here to here. So the piece that I'm using, this is actually designed for a Tenere. Um, it is a little large for this bar. I basically took Velcro uh, pieces with a tape backing and just built the bar up and put one side of the Velcro on the bar and the other side of the Velcro on that. And when I clamped it down, it is absolutely rock solid. This product is made by a company called Rally Raid. I will leave you a link down below, but basically your Garmin GPS will hook right here to this adapter plate. I've been running my Garmin on this for a while without any, any sort of wiring run to it. So I wanted to make sure that this was going to be something that I was going to be satisfied with. I am satisfied with it. Are there other solutions? There obviously are. But bang for the buck, this was the one that I found. I think you'll find it top quality. So I'm going to be running the wiring from a Hilltech Thunderbox up there going to have to see what kind of what kind of routing I can find for this thing under the seat. As with everything when you're dealing with electrical stuff, when you're doing this this thing, it can be a challenge to find a good course of travel for anything. Um, I don't know that I'm going to have to pull the tank off or not. I'm going to go ahead and pull the side panels off of both sides. It's done via a five millimeter Allen. So I got them loosened up. Let's pull these things out. Be nice if I only have to pull one side, but I'm going to go ahead and pull both sides, or at least have the uh, Allens out. Um, and if I don't have to pull the other side, I won't. I have a feeling that it, you know, every time I go to do something, it's never as easy as I thought it was going to be. So let's hope that this uh, will prove that theory wrong and it will be easier than I dreamed of. I'm told these things just slide out by some buddies of mine. There we go. Okay, they do. They slide right out. It's a little disconcerting, huh? That's not too bad. I'll go ahead and pull this other side. It's just a matter of working with it. So you pull back and then you lift. You can see you've got a tab. You got these tabs like this that go around here. So you just kind of pull and lift, and that's it. I'll clean all that up while I'm in there. But there it is. These two two tabs sit over the top of that. Well, everything is always so tight on these things. I'm thinking that I may be able to run up along that frame rail right there. I'll get a light and shine through there and then I'll figure out where we are. The problem is with the Garmin, you've got this, you're gonna have to run this little box up through there and that's just gonna be a nuisance, but we'll figure all that. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Let's see if we can get it on close. There's a gap right there and I can see, I put a little light down there 
and I can see that light all the way through. And so I'm gonna, that's gonna be my, my path of travel right down that, that little white frame rail. Here's the frame rail where it turns and goes right up through. It looks like it's nice and open. The question is, can I get along that channel? All right, so what I'm getting ready to do, I'm gonna go ahead and hang my GPS mount with the wire connected to it. And I'm gonna drop that wire behind my speedometer along this frame rail where these, along this area here where these wires run through, pop out along that frame rail and let's see how it's gonna go. So for this, this is again, this is just, this comes with the Garmin. Basically, you're gonna have a screw that's gonna go right through there. You're going to have a washer and a nut, a little metal mount that's up there, and you're gonna put a washer and a nut on it, and that's it. So I'm not gonna run a camera during that. I think you can figure that one out, but I'll show you the aftermath. So those four screws are gonna run right through here. Now, what I did wanna show you is how I cover all of this with a towel if I drop a, a nut or a, a washer. They fall on this towel. Save yourself the trouble. Put something there that will keep you from cussing and throwing tools and looking around for something that fell down inside your engine compartment. So just a little, I don't know if we'd call it a hack or just a pointer. So be sure and do that. Save yourself a, a lot of heartache. So one of the things with my other Garmin, this box, we had banged it on something we were installing it. That box split. And so I don't want that box to split. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and take a little preventative measure. And I'm just going to tape a little, take a little electrical tape. Being careful not to cut myself. But at least if I cut myself, it's on camera and you can get a kick out of it. So that will help with water intrusion and it will just make it more secure if in the event due to vibration, heat, cold, whatever, that little connection, that little... Uh, that little area it won't let go. All right, so very simple. The mount just screwed the four screws I was telling you about. You got a washer. You've got the little washer that goes in this hole. Your screw goes through there. Your nut goes on the back, holds it nice and secure. That's where your connection point is for your GPS. I drop the wire behind the speedometer and it's just going to run down here with these wires. I'm going to get some zip ties and clean all of this up. I like to kind of go along as I keep moving. You know, the days of the wire coat hanger along behind us and finding a you know stiff piece of wire to run this thing through. Uh, sometimes I'll just grab a zip tie, I'll cut the end off of it and I'll just tape it to the wire. And it just gives me enough rigidity that I can, I can feed it through normally. There's a litany of ways, but sometimes you just work with what you've got. And this is what I had handy and it's worked for me before. An electrician from a friend of mine showed me this. All right, let's see if that gives me enough rigidity to go from here to there, because it's really not a very far throw. All right, so I got the wire run through here, which is fine, but the little box, that little box that I taped up, it has become a problem. It's hung like right there. After just a modicum of patience, there it is right there. And there it is, just like that. Let's see, make sure I've got no binding. All right, I'm gonna zip tie the front now and start working my way back, get it all cleaned up. All right, so I taped the wire here because I didn't want it falling in front of the uh, TFT display. Got it run down there, zip tied to the subframe right there. Zip tied around these cables here, right there on the subframe. I don't have anything tightened up or secured. I just have this running along the side of the rail I think I'm just gonna actually leave it just like that. It's not going anywhere. I've got it crossing over here and running under this plastic shroud and coming out right in here by the battery. My Thunderbox, I was gonna mount it, but now I'm thinking right here, you've got this little gap. This is the battery box, this little battery cover. So this piece has to come off and I, I was gonna secure it right there on the side of that, but I have a feeling if I do that, it's gonna be a problem. So I'm just gonna hook it up and drop it right down in that little slot. And that should give you plenty of room to work. And here are the uh, connections for the GPS there. This is the white wire that I'm not using. I'll be taping it off. I'm just gonna tape it to the black wire. And that's gonna be it. So let's hook this thing up. All right, I like things to be neat and tidy. So we, this is the wires coming off of the battery going to the Thunderbox. I'm gonna tape these together and clean that up. And this white wire is gonna be right in there with it. Oh, great. You bought another pair of Shady Rays. 
Well, I had a pair that broke, and I oh. liked that pair. This is a Shader Ace commercial. Buy a pair of Shader Ace. It's almost too hot to go for a little mini walk. I'm sweating, I'll tell you that. But I like the heat. I do too, but I am sweating. All right, so there is the Thunderbox, all cleaned up there. Now we have these. The GPS is going to hook right to that. There's my little trick that helped me have a little rigidity in the wire. Got to take that off. Remember the greens are hot, got the go-go juice in it, slide the wire in there. Nice and tight. Black is the ground. It's not too hard to color coordinate, is it? Even a colorblind old guy like me can do it. So now we have this little bit of excess here. Not gonna worry a whole lot about that, even though I do like neatness. There's only so much I can do. I'll take this and tuck it down beside the battery. Make sure we don't have any, any binding points. Make sure you have your OBD out top. Drop right down, no, no bind points at all. I'm looking for anything that could be a problem. Nope, all looks beautiful. Nice. All right, now for the moment of truth. We did our test beforehand, so it should work. Let's power this baby up. All right, let's turn it off. Shouldn't be too long. The power should turn right off. See the little lightning bolt up on the top right hand side disappear. There it goes, now it's on battery, saying no power is there. So we now have successful power to the GPS where it turns itself off and doesn't drain our battery. This will work on any motorcycle. Now the last thing we have to do is put these back on. We have to make sure this is not gonna put pressure on that wire. That was my only concern when utilizing that location. So let's see what we have. Again, these go above these little rings. These little tabs go above those little rings and it kind of presses, it presses forward over those things. Looking for gaps and tightness and pinch points. No pinch points at all. It sits nicely behind it. Beautiful. Exactly what we wanted. Slide this other side on here, which you can't see, but you've seen it done on the other side. And there's literally nothing to it. So I will say overall, this was an easy job. The hardest part, as with all of these type of things, is running the wire, making it look not like crap. These may have a torque spec, but the torque spec in my book is don't break your plastic. And as you tighten one, the other one will move a little bit and you have to go back and double check. Just snug it up, you're not looking to kill it. Beautiful. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was that easy, that easy. Ah, you know, that's sweet tea. You know what they call tea that's not sweet? Dirt, that's what they call it. Man, uns unsweet tea, nah, no thank you. So the installation was really easy. The hardest part was that little box, that little box on the Garmin wire. That little part just took a little bit of patience in manipulating it around and it, it popped right through. I didn't have to force it. Whenever I felt it bind, I would back it out move it a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left, and eventually it just boop, went right through. So very, very simple. The installation is neat, it's tidy, it's clean. Um, when I go to a dealer, I won't be uh, embarrassed by it. Uh, I am gonna go back in and clean a few things up. The green wire and the black wire coming off the Thunderbox, I will be taping those together. And then the wires coming off of my Garmin GPS, I will cut those to the proper length. It's beautiful, it's just beautiful. So the Garmin Zumo XT, accompanied by the Hiltec Thunderbox, is a win-win, man. It is definitely two thumbs up from the Coach Bob 3 channel. Well, if I could get you to subscribe to the channel, share this video with a friend, it would be great. We are trying to get the channel to grow. Make sure you have your notification bell turned on so you don't miss any of this great content. All right, till next time, you, yes you, do me a favor, go out by the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, you are definitely doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day, and I'll see you on the road or on the trail real soon.